those open source have the obligation to be ugly. Those open source mm -hmm. interfaces have the obligation to be ugly. And your answer now, and the Gephi answer is no. And uh, I'm afraid to see it. You, you're saying that because as a designer, I've been working with uh, the other designers too okay. on the UI of uh, Gephi. Well, we looked at the issues on the GitHub. Mm -hmm. We've uh, classified them into several categories, those uh, which could be uh, uh, tackled or not, etc. And then, um, so we started to have little improvements to the UI, like IDs. Yeah. And also the bigger point on which we worked was the icons. Actually, on Jeffy, icons are 16 by 16 pixels PNG. Okay. Uh, which is not very optimized for an icon system. And uh, also they uh, were a bit outdated mm -hmm. so we were asked to work on them also one of the problem i just yeah. have a question can you explain to a noob like me why the format wasn't good you know in the 64 to in 64 yeah png are bitmap uh, images which okay. means that uh, they are made by, uh, of uh, pixels yeah so if you uh, scale them uh, to make them bigger you will see the pixels Oh yeah, of course. Okay. Whereas uh, SVG uh, yeah. doesn't have uh, this. Okay. So it is better to have them in SVG and also mm. sometimes SVG are much more smaller. Uh, so uh, one of the problem also was that some icons, it is hard to understand them when you discover the mm. <laughs> give yeah. people the first time. Like this one, the sizer, uh, which makes uh, the nodes bigger. Oh. is represented by a diamond i didn't know it exists <laughs> which for me doesn't make s very much sense <laughs> no so this was the kind of icons we uh, looked at to yeah. in order to uh, change them so uh first of all we had to choose a library a library of icons because mm -hmm. we had a talk with uh, mathieu Jacomi, and he uh, explained us uh, what was his vision about yeah. uh, icons and UI uh, in Jeffy. So he wanted something that could last for uh, 20 years without change. Um, already a lot of icons available in case <laughs> they need to uh, add more, uh, but they don't have designers available. Yeah. Uh, so they want something sustainable for the long time, uh, long term, and uh, also we reflect uh, on the sizes of the display. So like uh, they are 16 by 16, as I said. So it was important to uh, take this into account. And yeah, he, he wanted. I don't know if it will be respected, but you wanted something like a bit rustic, a bit yeah. root. <laughs> <laughs> there is this idea of open source software uh, not being uh, at the edge of the new UI uh, mm. trends, exactly. Yeah. So we'll see how it looks at in the end. We've made a the little mock-up. So we, we choose uh, icons from um, Carbon Design System, which is made by IBM. Okay. Uh, so a lot of icons. We, we also uh, checked other icons libraries, but we choose this one. And now I'm working on uh, making them like uh, a very much um, related to what they do. Okay. So instantly when you saw them you can you know what they do yeah this is the this is the goal this is the for now this is the final icons that i have and i yeah. will continue to work on that this afternoon and this is my playground can you show us uh, take some examples and explain uh, okay the you know yeah. the, what is represented so uh for example we have this plane Yep. Uh, on Jeffy, which is a uh, shortest path, yep. display the shortest path uh, between the uh, nodes. And uh, for that, we took the uh, inspiration in one of the icons library. Sorry. And what we came uh, as an idea was this one. Oh, yes, fine. So when you look at it, you sh 
should it should be more obvious than a plane that this <laughs> <laughs> this is the shortest yeah. path uh linking to icons yeah and this is uh all examples like that uh, i can show you uh, we have uh, the size of the labels related yep. to the node size. Yep. This is this uh, actually 2A, one bigger than uh, yeah. the other one. Why? <laughs> why, Mathieu, why? <laughs> it, Who knows? It is, it is okay. <laughs> but uh, what I did is I put an A into a node. So yep. it, I think maybe it better represents yeah, uh, the ID. Okay. So... Yeah, and so that was the UE part yeah. of my job. And I've also worked with uh, the two guys and Axel also on the uh, what you see before the cluster yeah. uh, fluctuations, yeah. yeah. etc. So you were on the two uh, on these two, two tracks, exactly. yes. Um, exactly, exactly. Okay. Wow. It's, uh, it's you, you know, it's like when you're cleaning your room for the first time in a long time. <laughs> it all seems so new. <laughs> Obviously, changing all the icons in Gefe will be quite a lot of work. Um, do you think it makes sense to, to go gradual where some might be new and some might be old? Or do you think we should do a big bang and everything come at once? Mm -hmm. In open source softwares, uh, it is more common to have uh, uh, frequent updates, but little ones. So I would say let's publish those who are made and we'll try to work on uh, the other one slowly. Yeah, I have another question, maybe for you, but also for the other Gephi uh, developers about the tooltips. I can't yep. remember if we have tooltips and if so, uh, what, is there any work needed on them in terms of, uh, you know, concision and expressivity? I can't mm. remember. What do you think? As, as a designer new to Jeffy, uh, we have some uh, right now. You can see them maybe. Uh, I will show you your screen. Yep. Um, on the icons mostly, but uh, not on every part of the interface. And this yeah. is uh, something we should... Uh, I, I would like to, as designers to have a point of view on them because like in Blender, when you over uh, something, there is uh, the possibility to have a direct link to the documentation, for example. You have... The future. <laughs> the detail tip is on way more uh, parts of the interface. Uh, this would be the, the best, I guess. About the icons, um, yeah. maybe one other possibility would be to find uh, uh, a library of icons that is open source uh, that maybe already has some um, icons about no networks inside and maybe we can uh, try to collaborate with the authors and maybe make a pull request with our uh, new icons so that uh, we can maintain together a package which is better to maintain two separate packages. And or another possibility in terms of maybe the development inside of Giphy uh, would be to have a module of icons inside that, um, uh, you know, controls the behavior of icons in dark mode, light modes and whatever. Yeah. And then we can use that strategy to make it a little bit more uh, sustainable for the future. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, icons are located in different modules, so they are everywhere on the, the GitHub and uh, their name is not uh, even similar like you have uh, small caps sometimes sometimes you have uh, camel caps <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's a bit weird <laughs>